Hi there. So imagine that you're creating an app that is going to write creative stories or generate marketing content on demand. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Well, how do you know with so many AI tools out there, which is the right one for you? In this video, we're going to discuss Microsoft Azure's generative AI solutions. Welcome to this introduction to Azure Generative AI Services. I'm here to help you understand how to select the right service for generative AI projects. By the end of this video, you'll know which Azure Generative AI tool fits your needs and why. Let's get started. First, let's classify what generative AI means. It's all about creating new content like text, images, videos, or even code based on the patterns that it's learned from some other data. So you think of it as a digital artist or a writer that crafts unique outputs from prompts. Azure offers powerful tools for this, but today we'll focus on the star player for generative AI called the Azure OpenAI service. So the Azure OpenAI service is tailored for generating human-like text, completing conversations, and even creating code snippets. Powered by models like GPT-4, it's your go-to for chatbots, content creation, or summarizing documents. Let's look at a practical example. Say you're building a customer support bot that answers queries with natural, helpful responses. Azure OpenAI service can generate those responses by understanding the context and intent. Here's why this matters. Unlike other Azure AI services like AI language, which focuses on analyzing or classifying text, the Azure Open AI service is designed to create content from scratch. It's not just about understanding, it's about inventing. Notice how this fits tasks like drafting emails or brainstorming ideas where creativity is key. For comparison, if your project isn't about generating content, but rather recognizing patterns like identifying objects and images, you would turn to Azure AI Vision instead. Or if you're transcribing audio to text, then the Azure AI Speech Service is your pick. But for generative AI, stick with Azure OpenAI Service. Let's take a look at some code. Using Azure's OpenAI service, you can call the API with a simple prompt. Here is some sample code that I can use. As you can see from the code, I am importing the OpenAI module. I'm passing in a key that Azure has given to me, and I'm calling the completion service to, with the prompt and asking for a specific model and printing out the response. This shows how easy it is to tap into generative AI for your application. One last tip. The Azure OpenAI service isn't one size fits all. Sometimes you need to create custom models or do additional training beyond the pre-built capabilities. So you may need to use other OpenAI services in order to fine tune your models together they can unlock even more potential. To wrap up, when it comes to generative AI on Azure, the Azure OpenAI service is your best bet for creating text, code, or conversational content. Remember to match the tool for your project's goal, whether it's generating, analyzing, or recognizing. If you want to dive deeper, you're going to continue to watch this course and we're going to go through each of the Azure AI services. You can also go online, check out the AI documentation on the Azure Docs website, or even get your hands dirty, try a hands-on lab and build yourself a generative app. Let's keep going.